very good evening students welcome to jatadhara educational technology program and this is the coaching classes for n mms test 2024-25 all right so a very warm welcome to you all and uh, today's topic that we are going to do is mental ability in mental ability we are doing sequences too all right now before we start with this mental ability let us recollect the squares cubes and powers of natural numbers all right so when you say square so what is one square one into one what is two square two into two likewise you have three square four square five square six square so these things you must be clear all right on the other hand what is cubes so square means two times you have to multiply cube means three times so one cube is one into one into one two cube is two into two into two three cube is three into three into three right 4 cube is 4 into 4 into 4 5 cube is 5 into 5 into 5 6 cube is 6 into 6 into 6 7 cube is 7 into 7 into 7 8 cube is 8 into 8 into 8 and 9 cube is 9 into 9 into 9 and 10 cube is 10 into 10 into 10 so it goes like this all right now let us see powers of 2 all right so 2 power 0 anything to the power 0 is 1 all right and anything to the power is the same number, right? So, 2 power 1 is 2, 2 power 2 is 2 into 2, 2 power 3 is 2 cube, right? Which is 2 square into 2, that is 2 into 2 into 2. Likewise, 2 power 4 is 16, 2 power 5 is 32, 2 power 6 is 64, 2 power 7 is 128, 2 power 8 is 256, 2 power 9 is 512. 2 power 10 is 1024. Next, powers of 3. 3 power 1 is 3. 3 power 2 is 3 into 3. 3 power 3 is 9 into 3. 3 power 4 is 3 into 3 into 3 into 3. That is 4 times of 3. That is 27 into 3. Whatever is your resultant of your earlier number multiplied by 3. 3 power 5 is 81 into 3. 3 power 6 is 243 into 3. Like, why is it goes on? And powers of 4 is 4 power 1. 4 to the power 2 is 4 into 4. 4 power 3 is 4 square into 4. That is 16 into 4. 4 power 4 is 64 into 4. 4 power 5 is 260, 256 into 4 and so on. And powers of 5 is 5 to the power 1 is 5. 5 square is 25. 5 cube is 125, 5 power 4 is 625, 5 power 5 is 3125 and so on. Alright. So next we have powers of 6, that is 6 power 1, 6 square, 6 cube. So 6 square is 6 into 6, 6 cube is the earlier number that is 6 square into 6, 36 into 6, 216. 6 power 4 is 216 into 6, 1296. 6 power 5 is 1296 into 6 is 7776 and so on. So likewise we have powers of 7. 7 power 1 is 7. 7 power 2 is 7 into 7 which is 49. 7 power 3 is 49 into 7, 343. 7 power 4 is 343 into 7 which is 2401. All right. Now we need to know about the prime numbers also. Right. So let us quickly crush up with these concepts. The prime numbers are two, three, though prime numbers are those numbers which is not divisible by any other number, but it is divisible by only the same number itself. So it is 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17, 19, 23, and so on. All right. Yes. Now let us solve few questions. All right. Now find the next number. What could be the next number? All right. So, this is a very important question in mental ability. So, how could be this solved? Let us see the solution being the first question. Now, if you see the numbers are 1 plus 1, which is 2. Next, how do you get 6? It is 5 plus 1. How do you get 25? It is 25 plus 1. How do you get 126? It is 125 plus 1. Right? Similarly, what could be the next number? So, 5, 5 square, 5 cube, 5 power 4, 625 plus 1, isn't it? Alright, so, this is 
anything to the power 0 is 1, isn't it? So 5 to the power 0 is 1, 5 to the power 1 is 5, 5 to the power 2, 5 square, 25, 5 to the power 3, 5 cube is 125, 5 to the power 4 is 625 and the pattern is you are adding 1 to each number. So it becomes 626. That is why your next answer is 626. Alright? Yes. So these are the powers of 5. The next number is 125 into 5. Alright. So 625 plus 1, 626. Alright. Now let's move on to the next question. We have 5, 15, 45, 135. Now, how do you find out? Let us see the answer for this. If we observe the sequence, we have 5 into 3 is 15, 15 into 3 is 45, 45 into 3 is 135. So, what should be the next? 135 into 3. So, the next must be 135 into 3, which is 400, which should be 405, isn't it? Yes, which should be 405. One second. Let me quickly write. So it should be 405. All right. Now let's move on to the next question. Now let us observe some series and try to find the next number. To find the number, we need to identify the sequence. Right? So 45 second time is given for you all. So not more than that. Try to quickly find out the next number. All right? Yes. So here goes. You have 10, 21, 31, 40, 48. All right. So what would be the next number? Yes. So your time is actually running. So try to solve it as early as possible. Yes, so here we have 10, 21, 31, 40, 48. So, it follows, you know, some sequence. What is that? What is that? All right, so your time is up. Let's see. Here, when you add from 10, if you add 11, you get 21. Similarly, the resultant number 21 plus 10. See, it goes in the decreasing order. 10, 31. 31 plus 9 is 40. 40 plus 8 is 48. So, next number should be 48 plus 7. So, the answer must be 55. Alright? So, these things definitely you will be able to guess students only when you have a good practice. So, if you could recollect all our uh, uh, YouTube channels, if you can see all the sums that we have done, so definitely you will have a very good practice of these mental ability sums, especially the missing numbers. So, we have almost done many kinds of sums. All right. Now, let's move on to the next question. 98, 89, 80, 71. Right. So, here the answer is given. 89 minus 9 is 80. All right. 80 minus 9 is 71. So, the next must be 71 minus 9 should be 62. All right? Yes. So, the, your answer must be 62. All right. Now, let's move on to the next number. Next question, minus 3, minus 5, minus 3, 0, 5, 12, 23. All right? And it goes on. So, here, now, if we do not get any clue, then we need to subtract the terms. See here, minus 5, minus 3. So, minus 3, minus of minus 5. So, you have to subtract the second term from the first term. Minus 3, minus of minus 5 is plus 2. 0, minus of minus 3 is plus 3. 5 minus 0 is 5. 12 minus 5 is 7. 23 minus 12 is 11. All right? Yes. So, the differences are the prime numbers. So, the next difference must be next prime number. So, 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13. Right? So, it should be 13. So, 36 minus 13 will give you 23. That's why your answer is 36. 
All right. In other words, 23 plus 13 will uh, give you 36. All right. I think this sum can be done by you all. You have 102, 103, 105, 107 and 111. Yes. So try to do it. This should be very easy in fact. Yes. All right. Let's try to solve. So you have 102. So this can be written as 100 plus 2. Isn't it? So this can be written as 100 plus 3. All right. And this can be written as 100 plus 5. This can be written as 100 plus 7. All right. So this can be written as 100 plus 11. So each term is a prime number. Isn't it? So if you can observe 2, 3, 5, 7, 11. So what should be the next term? You have to add 100 to the next prime number 13. So your number would be 113. All right. See, uh, pretty simple, isn't it? Let's see the answer. If we observe carefully, we can write as 1 or 2. You can write it as 100 plus 2, like how we have done. 1 or 3 is 100 plus 3. 1 or 5 is 100 plus 5. 1 or 7 is 100 plus 7. 111 is 100 plus 11. Each term is a prime number and that is added to 100. All right. So your next number should be 100, right? 113. All right. See the next question. 9, 11, 14, 19, 26, 37. All right. So, quickly. Yes. So, 45 seconds time can be taken for uh, this kind of sum. Now, find the difference between these two. 11 minus 9. 3. Right? 14 minus 11. 3. 19 minus 4. So, it is... Sorry, 2, 3, 19 minus 4 is 5, 37 minus 26 is 26 minus 19 is 7. 37 minus 26 is 11. So you can see that the prime numbers are the differences. All right. So now what should be the next one? After 11, the prime number is 13. All right. So 26 plus 11 is 37. So your next number must be 37 plus 13, which is 50. All right. So your answer must be 50. You just see if you're not able to get any clue, then the next thing that you need to do is find the difference between the two numbers, second and the first number and try to get some connectivity. So here we are. The connectivity is the prime numbers. So if you add the prime numbers, you can arrive at the next number. See, beautifully it has been explained here. So next prime number is 13. Right, so the next number must be 37 plus 13, which is 50. All right. Another one. We have 3, 8, 14, 21, 29. So one minute time is given to solve this question. So I don't think even you need so much time. You need time only to work it out, but not to find the strategy. All right. Yes. All right, fine. So let's see the answer here, how it works. If you cannot identify, then the next thing that we have to do is we need to subtract the terms, isn't it? So 8 minus 3 is 5, 14 minus 8 is 6, 21 minus 14 is 7, 29 minus 21 is 8. So it is 5, 6, 7, 8. So obviously the next number must be so this is another sequence. If you do not get any clue, as said, we need to subtract, right? So 
the difference between 5 and 6 is 1, 7 and 6 is 1, 8 and 7 is 1. So, the common difference is 1. So, the next must be 8 plus 1, 9. Alright, so you need to add 29 to 9 to give us 38. Alright, yes, let us try and score is 19. So, 37 minus 19 must give us 56. Alright, with this, let's quickly try the next sum. 13, 26, 49, 92, 165. So, this one, the same clue is given. If you are not able to identify, then subtract the terms and let's find the uh, next number. What is the strategy that the sum uh, has followed? Alright. So, 26 minus 13 is 13. 49 minus 26 is 23. 92 minus 49 is 43. 165 minus 92 is 73. Alright. So, this is another sequence. Alright. So, if you do not get any clue, again, subtract these terms. What is 23 minus 13? It is 10. 43 minus 23 is 20. 73 minus 43 is 30. So, it moves on like 10, 20, 30. So, the next must be 40. Isn't it? Right? So, it should be 40, which means that the number 73 must be added to 40 to get 113. Right? So, 165 must be added to 113 to get 278. Let us try another one. We have 4, 13, 82, 201, 360. All right. So, I think this definitely can be solved very easily. So, maximum time you can. You know, spend up. Not for such kind of easy sums. Some difficult concepts you can spend time. These kind of sums is very easy. So, as said earlier, if you are not able to find, if you are not able to get any clue, the next thing that you need to do is find the difference. All right? Yes. So, let's see here. If you cannot identify, subtract the terms. So, 14 minus 13 minus 4 is 9. 82 minus 13 is 69. 201 minus 82 is 119. 360 minus 201 is 159. So, this is another series. If you do not get any clue, then subtract these terms. So, again, let us subtract 69 with 9 to get 60. 119 minus 69 is 50. 159 minus 119 is 40. So, the next, it is coming in the decreasing order, isn't it? So, 60, 50, 40. The next must be 30. All right. So, the number must be 159 plus 30 to get 189. So, 189 must be added with 360 to get 549. All right. Yes. So, now let us try another one. You have 13, 15, 18, 25, 41, 73. All right, students. So, definitely this can be attempted. Yes. So, the same hint is used here. If you are not able to find any clue, then find the difference between the second number and the third number. That would definitely give us a good result by finding out the strategy. All right. Let's see here. 15 minus 13 is 2. 18 minus 15 is 3. 25 minus 18 is 7. So, 41 minus 25 is 16. 73 minus 41 is 32. So, what is that? Again, we need to subtract 3 minus 2, 7 minus 3, 14 minus 7, 32 minus 16. So, this comes in the square. 1 square, 2 square, 3 square, 4 square. Isn't it? So, the next must be 5 square. That is 25. So, you should add 32 to 25 to get 57. And this 57 must be added to 73 to get 128. All right? Yes. So, I'm sure this must be very clear and uh, uh, let's meet in another class with a very interesting sums. Thanks for watching. Uh, please do not forget uh, to subscribe to our uh, YouTube channel, Jata Dhara Educational Technology. Thank you.